everyone, it's Janice. Welcome back. So as promised in my last video, I'm going to share with you guys the process of me getting rid of some toxic products in my life. This is going to be all of my shower products and skincare products that I have found to have some very scary ingredients that are potentially harmful to my health in many ways and also um, products that my family uses that are harmful to them that I just cannot use anymore with a clear conscience knowing what these cause and I have completely switched over or not 100% I almost totally switched over to safer products for my family we also are switching our cleaning products I can talk about that if you're interested as well but this video will just be the personal care products and my next video will be my makeup bag and products I found in there that I'm not going to use anymore so what helped me determine what what products I owned that were safe or not safe um, was the app uh, from the environmental working group and the app is so EWG for the environmental working group and on that app so that app is free uh, you can scan or type in the product name of any products you own like personal care products you know cosmetics it doesn't have every product in the database but it's pretty good so some brands you might type in the brand and you don't see anything and um, I hope that will change and that more brands will be in there soon it's kind of I think based on what what companies are disclosing um, what information they put out there as to the ingredients of their products but anyways it'll give you a rating from 0 to 10 so 0 being the safest or you know and then 10 being the worst so Products that have like a lower braiding, you know, that I owned, I was like, yay, this is a safer product. So I'm going to keep those and keep using those. And these are all the products I owned that had some like scary ratings. Or if I wasn't necessarily able to find the rating on EWG, I was able to just educate myself and look on the ingredients list of these products and just determine like, uh-uh, this, this does not belong um, on my body anymore. So EWG, check it out. But let's get to some products I'm not going to use anymore. I'm not going to go into detail about each one. I'm just going to kind of hold them up and say this no more. Bye bye. So I was using this on my skin all over. Your skin is your largest organ that uh, any products that's going all over my skin is something that really needs to be a safe product. So goodbye to this lotion. I also had this other suave lotion that had baby oil. Um, not all oils are bad. I do still use certain oil and certainly if you use um, a safer oil, fantastic. Um, but baby oil, um, the kind that was in here is very harmful. So I'm done with that. Sunscreen is something that we switched over for the whole family. Uh, we were using this on my son, this Copper Tone Water Babies, pure and simple, no bueno. Um, you know, I consider myself an intelligent person. We all like to think that we're smart, <laughs> I think. Um, and I'm a college educated person, but I admit that sometimes I was fooled by packaging that said things like pure and simple and thought that that meant safe. Um, it's kind of embarrassing to admit that. Um, but I, you know, we don't, these brands that we think are trusted or that we've maybe been using our whole lives, so we don't really want to think that they're out to get us. It also says, you know, tear free, number one pediatrician recommended brand. This, this made me think this was a good choice for our family and it, it just wasn't. So, um, I can't do anything about what I've done in the past, but I, I can change what I'm doing going forward. So same thing, um, with the philosophy purity brand. I used to really think the philosophy brand was great. Um, I liked how they had pictures of little kids that were like super cute on a lot of their products. You know, Purity Made Simple, a one-step facial cleanser. This is bad news, guys, so goodbye to that. This was a gift from my mom. Um, thanks, mom. This, this was nice, but I'm not going to use it anymore. This is the KMS Color Vitality Shampoo. I was using this lotion all over my baby, the Johnson's Baby Bedtime Lotion. This was full of parabens. Um, and also, it's so when a company just says fragrance, fragrance can mean anything. Fragrance uh, is considered a trade secret in the personal care products industry, so um, they don't have to disclose what's in their fragrance uh, since it's trade secret, and that's where you don't. So you don't really know what's in it. So I, I am not using anything anymore unless I really know what's in it. I need the company to fully disclose their ingredients, otherwise. It's not something that I'm putting on my kid or putting on myself. This, I'm straight up disgusted when I look at it now. Um, I, this, so this is perfume, Tommy Bahama Women um, Perfume Mist. I have no idea what's in this. Every time I've looked at this uh, in my house and like wanted to put it on myself, I'm like, what are you doing? You have no clue what, what's in this. You can't, you can't do that. 
So no more of that. Um, Dove soap, I've used pretty much my whole life. Um, there's a different rating. So even within the same product family, like I use like Burt's Bees chapsticks, um, different flavors or scents have different ratings. So different Dove soaps have different ratings, but the white Blanc one did not, you know, Blanc, whatever, <laughs> white in the other, um, in other languages besides English. Um, didn't have a good rating, so I can make a better choice in terms of what I'm washing my body in. Um, the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. I've talked about this for years on my channel because I did like it. It's, a, it's effective. Um, but I don't just need my products to be effective. I also need my products to be safe because I do care a lot about my products working. So I'm not also saying like, oh, I'm just going to use any old product out there that says like natural or organic. A lot of times that doesn't mean anything. And those kind of terms aren't really regulated in the industry. And those products don't always work so great. I do. I have tried a few other sunscreens that were safer and had safer ingredients. And I was, I thought the packaging was hideous. I thought it smelled horrible. I didn't think it worked great. So I am looking for, you know, high performance, safe. Uh, I have a lot of, and, and pretty packaging. I've got a, a lot of standards to meet right now. Um, and these products are just no longer meeting my standards. I was using this more for myself than for my son. This is the Johnson's baby oil. Um, no more of that for me. And also this I was not using on my son. And this is another one I'm like embarrassed to talk about, but this is the Johnson's baby powder. Um, I've heard how this can be like can cause cancer if it's actually there's a big lawsuit actually about it being linked to cancer if you use it um you know on your private parts and i was using this as dry shampoo i've been using this as dry shampoo for years this can't be good that can't be good putting it on my scalp so uh, i need to find a different option there no more of that for me so this was something i was like oh no i will not use this on my son this is bad news but I was using it on myself. So why, you know, I, I care about my son. I love my son so much, obviously, but it's like, why was I valuing him so high, but not valuing myself? So, you know, if you're a mom, you kind of know how that goes that, um, unfortunately, sometimes we kind of push ourselves to the wayside, but I don't, I don't want to push myself to the wayside anymore. This was the L'Oreal Paris Total Repair Extreme Reconstructing Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, these weren't horrific. They didn't have like a 10 rating. I want to say the rating was like five or six, but uh, I can do better than that. I can, you know, use something better than a five or a six rating. This was my husband's head and shoulders. He is done with this. I want to say that this purpose gentle cleansing wash, wash was a 10. And my husband and I have also used this product for years. Um, and I told him, you know, again, the packaging is very misleading here. Even though it's not saying safe or non-toxic, it is saying some things that are kind of linked to those terms in my brain and makes me think this is a good product to use. For one, it has um, you know the clear packaging that's pretty much like a very light color. It says dermatologist recommended, soap-free, hypoallergenic, won't cause, ca blah, clog pores, clinically shown, gentle as water, gentle cleansing wash. I was like, oh yeah, let's get that. Um, you know, then we look at the ingredients and we look it up in, on the environmental working group app and it's horrific. And this is something we were using every day and my husband, so I was more looking up a lot of the products in our house. So my husband is like, I cannot use that on my face anymore. He's like, I'm done with that. So done with that. Um, Aveda was another one of those brands that I thought was really great. I used to always um, go to that salon to get my hair done. I didn't always buy their uh, products, but sometimes I did. Oh, this is the conditioner. I don't think I was able to find their conditioner on the EWG, but I did have their the same brand, the Pure Abundance shampoo, and um, that was not good. So goodbye to that. And this I got as a gift at somebody's shower, I want to say. So this is the Olay body wash. Nope, bad news, not using that. So um, I highly encourage you to go ahead and scan or type in products you own in that app and see what you can find. You can also type in things that you're thinking about buying or just walk around the store and scan or type in. So I do that all the time. Um, I've typed in products that I used to use and uh, it is frightening. So uh, I hope this motivated you to make some safer choices for you and your family. Let me know what you find and stay tuned for the makeup clean out series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.